I'm Roger Batham, they call me Clouds, and I'm the meteorologist with Team New Zealand. And here we are in San Francisco, and what a panoramic view from here. We can see the whole racetrack. So the racing is up and down here. They start at the top up here. Uh, if you can see, there's a ferry right out in the distance there, heading out towards the Golden Gate Bridge. That's roughly where the start would be. And they come in from there into an offset mark, which is in front of the, the two yacht clubs, which are down here at the marina. There's the Golden Gate Yacht Club and the St. Francis Yacht Club. From there, it's a big downwind run between here and Alcatraz, all the way down to the bottom mark. And then from there, then they have to work their way back up, upwind, all the way back to the top mark, which, which would be even closer to the Golden Gate Bridge. And then from there, one more run all the way down to the bottom and then finish off next to the America's Cup here. So uh, that sounds pretty easy, just three legs, one and a half laps. And in that, then there's, uh, they've got to consider tide and wind. The wind, pretty much always from the one direction, it's from the west. You get a very strong sea breeze here. Kicks off generally in the, uh, in the mid to late morning and peaks in the mid to late afternoon. And it can be pretty damn strong as you can see today. There's, there's a lot of wind here. Along the city front here, we easily get up to 15 to 20 knots. And uh, during the mid peak of summer, we see sea breezes here in the afternoon of 20, 25 knots. Uh, we're starting at one o'clock, so that makes the breeze a little bit more quiet then because it hasn't reached full potential. The breeze is blowing at that time and you're seeing anywhere then between 10 and 20 knots of, uh, of wind. Now added to the wind, of course, we also have tide or current. The, the tide runs in and out. There's, there, there's North Bay up to the north there and South Bay around the corner. Huge bays with enormous volume of water and all that water has to come in and out through uh, this part of the harbour and the bay and uh, under the Golden Gate Bridge. So there's very, very strong uh, flow of water which runs out and back in. And uh, under the Golden Gate Bridge there, it can easily be anywhere between three to four knots as a slow tide at maximum run. And it can be right up to six and seven knots at times. So a lot of volume of water. On the racetrack again, not quite as uh, strong a current, but we certainly can be seeing two knots, three knots, and even up to four knots at times. So that's a, a major consideration when sailing. A day like today, we have a strong sea breeze running and an ebb tide. So the wind is against the tide, and you can see there's a lot of chop out there on the water. So adding all that together, there's, uh, there's quite a number of ways in which you've got to sail down and up on the course, taking into consideration the shiftiness of the breeze and the variation of the, uh, of the tidal flow, which is a function of the, uh, the time of the day. And you do see quite a lot of tide relief and, and strong tide and, and lesser tide in different parts of the race course. So uh, all that makes for a pretty demanding sort of race, let alone thinking about where the, uh, where the opposition is in the racetrack, just sailing the environment, sailing the wind, sailing the current, uh, is tricky enough on itself, but then you've also got to take into account sailing the opposition. And you add all those up and uh, hopefully make the boat go fast and we can uh, win the race.